Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Tesla video. In today's video, we are going to unbox and install a Tesla wall connector. So in today's video, I'm going to unbox the Tesla wall connector as well as a plug that I got from Amazon. And I'll also show you guys how to wire this plug to the Tesla wall connector. So if you have a home that maybe in the garage you see a plug that sort of looks like a range plug, uh, these are what a lot of the builders are putting in and saying they're EV ready. So this wall connector can be hardline connected, but I want it to be portable and be able to take it with me when I leave. So I'm going to wire in a range plug into the wall connector. So I'll show you guys what this looks like here. So this is basically, it's called a range cord and I got this on Amazon. So I'll put a link in the description below if you wanna grab one of these cords as well. This one happens to be four feet, which is a little bit short for the use that I want it for, um, but it's gonna work. So four feet should be just probably about enough to go out of the bottom of this charger and then into the wall plug that I have on the wall. So this is a 50 amp cable. So the charger itself, you cannot put it any higher than 50 amps. I believe I actually have a 60 amp breaker in the house, but this guy here is 50. So we're going to make sure that when we set up the charger that we don't overpower the wire that we're using to plug it in, as well as we don't overpower the outlet either. Okay, so that's that. Link in the description, Amazon below, if you wanna pick up one of those. And then let's get into the Tesla wall connector here. Ah, opens here. Ah, so big. There we go. So this is the Tesla wall connector. This is kind of the box that you got. Pop this out. Okay, and then this is just the cage. That light. Template for the wall. We will use later. And uh, that seems to be it. Okay, so inside the box for the Tesla wall connector, you got a template for the wall, which is great. Uh, this is the actual connector. It, it doesn't seem to be any sturdier or different than the one that they used to exclude in the car. I mean, it seems to be the same gauge wire. Uh, the nice part is though, the charger that used to be included with the Model 3, so I have a 2019, it is a 30 amp charger. So basically that's as much as you can get. So I'm gonna get an extra 20 amps out of this charger, which is almost double what I'm currently getting. So I'll definitely post a video on the difference in charge times between the actual Tesla wall connector and a standard charger or travel charger as they're calling it now that used to be included with the vehicles. I also get the quick start guide here. So this tells you that the tools that you're gonna need, tells you kind of how much wire and then top entry, bottom entry. Aha. <laughs> A little bit of prying. There you have it, okay. So this piece here is all one piece. Your connections are in the back here. This is how it connects to the live wire in your house. So that's a really simple, clean install to be able to have that. This is the template that goes to the wall, which matches up to all of the holes inside here as well. 
I'm not sure what the case is around there for. And then on the bottom here, you have an entry gland. So this guy pops off just like that. And then this piece that I got here Slide up through the entry gland in the bottom. So the best way to install this is they don't want you to have it hanging. So if you're going to do the bottom mount. Okay, so that's just how to get everything in there. Ah. Here we go. This is the important stuff right here. So if you're coming in from the top, they recommend that you loop. If you're coming in from the bottom, they recommend that you loop. So if you can see that, if that's gonna show up on the camera, this is what we're doing, so we wanna loop the wire. So we're actually gonna pull a little bit more of this up. And then, yeah, there you go. It actually gets into this thing. And then we'll bring those down into there. So this is what we're gonna end up with on our wall. Okay, so we've got the tools that we need to trim this wire to make it work inside of the Tesla wall connector. First thing we're gonna do is we don't need any of these, so. Pop. 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 And now you are not going to be using the white wire. So I'm actually gonna grab a marette and put it around this wire just because the end of it is exposed. So I will grab a marette, pop it on there just so that's nice and safe. And then the other three wires are the three that you're going to use. You're going to use your line one, your line two, and then your ground wire here. Okay, so try this guy here and see if it works. I think it will. Yeah, it did last a little bit, but I'm happy with that. Once you have your wires stripped, just wanna twist them nice and tight there, like so. And then inside this little package here, you have the Allen key, which is the same Allen key that's going to fit in here, yes. So, I need to get one more tool and uh, grab a driver for this guy. I have got a driver now that fits the bit that they gave you. We're gonna run our cable in and we're going to loop it all the way up at the top. Yeah, not that much. Pop the cable in. Up here, and that give enough? No, probably a little more. Okay, so you can actually see the wire come out of the bottom as well. So you just kind of want to have it centered in there and tighten it down. Make sure it's good and snug. Pull on the wire, then the next wire you want to connect is your line one which is likely going to be the red wire in most cases so we're going to do a similar thing here twist it and then you want to get it right down in there i don't want that to happen though
Everything's tightened down good and snug. I'm gonna take this marette, put it around this neutral wire here. Just for a little bit extra added security. Okay. I'm gonna tuck this back. In here it'd be perfect. There we go. All right, so this is kind of what we have finished up. So you've got your ground, line two, line one, all set up in there like that, making sure that you loop the power cord at the top as it's suggested. Still gives me a little bit, not quite as much as I was hoping for. So this is a four foot power cord. If I can find a six foot cord, I'll definitely put a link to that in the description below. I think in the future, I might actually replace this four foot one with a six foot one if I can find one available. So that is ready now to be mounted on the wall. So for the next part of this video, we'll head out to the garage and we'll mount this guy to the wall, plug it in. So we have removed the factory travel charger from the spot that we had it on the wall. And now our next step is to take the new charger here and mount that to the wall. And they give you a plate. So we're gonna take this plate and use that as our template on the wall. And we're going to mark our holes. Okay, so we have pre-drilled our holes into the wall. The next thing you need to do is pre-drill the holes into the charger itself. So if you can see on here, the holes are there, but they're not drilled out. So we're just gonna put this against the wall here. And drill out our hole top here, just slide out of the way. Okay, just like that. We've got two pilot holes into the charger itself as well. So the next step is to attach this guy to the wall. So these are the supplied screws that you wanna to use to attach it to the wall. You can see they have a hex head, which Tesla does include the bit. So we're gonna, gonna put that through and attach it to the wall. Tuck our cable back in. And reaches to the plug perfectly. Next step is to take the Tesla charging box and mount that to the wall. So, pretty much this and you should be ready to go so the next step is to put in the four screws to keep it secured to the wall one okay so once you have your wall connector powered on the next step is to set it up to your Wi-Fi so you gonna need a smartphone for that process. So grab your smartphone and you want to connect to the actual box first and then tell it what your Wi-Fi network is. So, so basically on most cell phones, you wanna slide down from the top and hold down your Wi-Fi. You wanna see the available networks and you'll see the wall connectors there. So click on the wall connector. It's going to connect to the wall connector using the actual password that it gave you on the sheet. Okay, so once you're connected with your Tesla charger, you would have got a sheet and on that sheet is your passwords. Just waiting for this guy to boot up once it's booted up. Okay, we have connected to the wall connector now you can see. So after that's done, is to enter this website, 192.168. Dot nine two dot one. And that's going to come up with all of the settings. And that's it. 
We've now set up our wall connector to our Wi-Fi. So thanks so much for watching today. This is a great way to be able to keep your wall connector somewhat portable uh, by using a rain tree placement cord connected to the Tesla wall connector. So if you learned something in this video, make sure you head down below and smash that like button. And if you wanna see more videos like this one, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy out there.